Hey, what's going on guys? I'm Dr. P and welcome back today for another Fortnite video. I really appreciate you taking the time to stop back by. Now today guys, I want to go over a number of things, including the brand new skin we just got today in the item shop and how it might relate to the story, the snowfall skin, the dragon eggs, battle pass hints, and so much more. If you're not already, make sure you tap that big red button and become a member of the Fruit Faction and subscribe to the channel today. I'm getting close to 400k and I'd really appreciate it if you guys could help me out with that final push. Also, shout out to these guys for using my support a creator code. If you want a shout out in an upcoming video, all you've got to do is send me a screenshot proving that you are supporting me and I will make sure to link my Twitter down below. That's the best place to do it. So let's start out by discussing the new skin that just dropped in the item shop about an hour ago. It's actually called Snowfoot and you can see right away, at least in my estimation, he looks a lot like some kind of a knight or soldier. He definitely looks like a warrior. I mean, look at him. He's decked out in what appears to be some kind of armor. He's also got razor blades or really sharp things on the edge of his arms there, so it looks like he's very vicious. He's also wearing a helmet. All signs point toward him being some kind of a warrior or soldier. Even his description, which is tread lightly and never leave a trace, backs that up. His back bling is also called the Snow Star, which ironically enough, resembles a ninja's throwing star. I've also seen a claim going around saying that his belt has a dragon's head on it, and while I definitely personally do not see that, I can see how some people might think it is a dragon's head. Let me know what you guys think though. So based on the fact that we assume he is some kind of an ice warrior, wouldn't it make sense for him to be a quote unquote knight for the castle on Polar Peak that's getting more and more exposed every day? I mean, for all we know, this could literally be one of the biggest characters in the storyline, and if not one of the biggest, definitely has a chance to be a contributing character, and I'm excited to see what that might be. Back to the dragon head on the belt thing. Like I said, personally, I don't think it's a dragon head, but it does have very pointy sides, and it could be that. I'm not saying it's not, I'm saying personally I don't think so, but let's say it is. If it is, that's a sign of something to come very soon. Speaking of that, there's been a lot of people asking when the dragon eggs, or at least what we think are dragon eggs, are going to hatch. I've seen some people say there's a good chance it could happen on the Chinese New Year, which is in February. Last year, Epic Games actually put in a new area called Lucky Landing specifically for the Chinese New Year, so we know they've done that before. Of course, for the Chinese New Year celebration, a lot of people use dragons and whatnot, and obviously dragons are a big symbol of that, so it wouldn't boggle my mind completely if the dragon eggs hatched sometime next month around the Chinese New Year. Speaking of those eggs, I want to show you the development of what's actually going on in the eggs. So, as far as I can tell, it looks to me like the outline of whatever is in here, we're assuming it's a dragon, it looks like it's developing, especially in the head area. You can see it actually looks like the mouth is kind of open, plus the back of its head is starting to get a lot bigger, and it's starting to have a little bit more of a bulge there. Based on all the pictures that I've looked at of these embryos, or whatever you want to call them inside the egg, it looks like it's developing. Not only are they developing, but it's getting more clear to see inside the egg. The first picture we ever got uh, that was leaked of these eggs several weeks ago, it was really hard to see what it was. I mean, you could tell there was something in the egg, but you didn't really know what it was, and it was really dark. Now, you can very clearly see into the egg and see the silhouette of whatever is in there, and you can see what appears to be growth, especially in the head area. Guys, it looks like we got ourselves some eggs that are getting ready to hatch. I'm not sure if it's going to be in a week, probably not, two weeks, a month, but it doesn't matter because we know at some point something is going to come out of that egg, and I'm extremely excited to see how it ties into the storyline. So now I want to shift focus back on to Kevin the Cube a little bit. You guys know Kevin, he was in the game for Season 5 and a bit in Season 6. If you've been following my channel for a couple days or you just love Fortnite and you've been checking up on the lore, there are a lot of theories out there saying Kevin is going to come back in some way based on evidence from that Disco Ball event on New Year's, as well as glitches underneath Polar Peak. 
and in my opinion, they're very valid points. I mean, we didn't exactly get any explanation as to what Kevin was or what his purpose was. All we know is he rolled around the map for a couple months and then finally just exploded. So I'd like to figure out what that was. And it seems like there's a chance he could be coming back in some way and the story could be explained. Now bear that in mind as we progress here, so I want to show you guys the Season 7 Battle Pass and some of the unlocks. Now, I've already talked about the Tier 77 reward, which appears to be some kind of cuff or shackles or something, you know, something you would trap someone or something with, and my theory is that was kind of a hint towards uh, the underground part of that castle, of course, the dungeon area, and all the chains there. But what's interesting to me is the tier reward that is right after that. They are consecutive, the cuffs and the next one, which of course is the picture of the Dark Llama. Now, you might be wondering, okay, well, so how does that relate to Kevin at all? Well, let me go ahead and tell you. So, the Dark Llama was actually one of the first signs of the Dark Bomber. The Dark Bomber, of course, is the evil version of the Bright Bomber, and she was created from Kevin the Cube, as indicated in a Season 5 loading screen. I remember this loading screen coming out. It was one of the first signs that really indicated that Kevin was evil. He was an evil force, and that he was. He created all these dark versions of different characters. He would zap players if they got too close. And really, he just destroyed the map by going through it and just tearing things apart. It's ironic though because he exploded and left the Fortnite map in peace. What's really interesting though is what's behind the Dark Llama in the Tier 78 reward for that loading screen. If you take a look, you can clearly see there is some kind of a volcano or at least what looks to be like a volcano behind it. It also appears to be erupting, or at least that's the implication they're giving, by having the cloud come right out of it. And also, the Dark Llama is breathing fire, much like a dragon would. If you'll remember back to Season 6 when the cube was carrying the island around to all the rune sites, it created something called a volcanic pit. You might remember those little bouncy things around the side of the rune sites. Those were called volcanic pits. Those were actually the name inside the game's coding. So I don't think it's any coincidence at all that the Dark Llama, being something that Kevin created, has a volcano in the background. And like I just said, the volcanic pits in Season 6 were there, so everything's lining up. I actually want to point out to you guys that, you know, all the past few seasons, we have gotten major updates. Well, maybe not Season 6, but at least Season 5 and 7, we got new biomes. We got the desert biome in Season 5, and then exactly across from that, we got the winter biome for Season 7. Now, it's yet to be seen whether or not that winter biome is going to remain there after this season because as we know, the ice around Polar Peak is melting and if it's melting there, it seems to me like the overall climate of the Fortnite map might be too warm to support snow, so the whole thing might melt eventually. That's what it seems like to me. Regardless though, I think there's a good chance we could see some kind of a fire slash volcanic area or biome be added in an upcoming season, possibly even as soon as Season 8. When you take into account that Dark Llama loading screen, yeah, that's great. But then you also look at what's happening currently in Season 7 with these eggs, which we think are dragon eggs, and everything is backing that theory up. Dragons are going to burn things, you know, they shoot fire out of their mouths. Couple that along with the fact that, you know, Fortnite is looking for new areas to add, and they've already added snow, desert, and grass. What else really is there except for, you know, a kind of dark, murky, burnt area with a lot of fire? The dragons obviously would be a great way to introduce that area because it would make sense for a dragon to burn it down, the storyline would be in no danger because this all makes sense. We kind of got a taste at what a burnt area would be like, not really, not exactly what I'm envisioning for this dragon, but we kind of got a taste of it with those corrupted rune sites, of course, with the volcanic pits. I'm extremely excited about the future of Fortnite. It's truly a great time to be a gamer right now playing this game. Fortnite, people say it's dying, but it's really not. I mean, if you look at the numbers, you look at the popularity, this game is on top and has remained on top almost throughout the entirety of 2018. Fortnite's not going anywhere for a long time, 
And I'm excited to see what Epic Games decides to do. We've got so many months left, possibly even years, of the storylines, of new updates, new areas. I just wish they would be smart about some of these updates. I mean, the boom box right now, ah, I don't know. It just really messes the game up, especially in the end game. I think it would be fine if they would give it a nerf. Maybe reduce the radius of the blast. Maybe make it so it knocks down structures every other wave instead of every wave. I don't know. Maybe even take it out completely. But anyway, that's it for me, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed. Make sure to leave your feedback and your thoughts in the comments section. I really do value your opinion. So with that said, I'll catch you in the next one. Hope you have a great day or night whenever and wherever you're watching, and peace out.